Maps and Globes, a tutorial for Miss Batazadigan's second grade class. First, we need to understand what is the difference between a map and a globe. A map is a flat or two-dimensional representation of a specific area or region, such as the map shown here of the United States. A globe, however, is a three-dimensional representation of the whole entire world, not just a small area like the map we just saw. The spinning globe shown here is a three-dimensional version of the entire world. So when should we use a map? Maps should be used when we need to know the details of a specific area, such as knowing the cities, roads, and physical features of a region like the map of Salt Lake City shown here. When should you use a globe? Globes should be used when you need to study the whole world at once, or sections of the world. Globes, just like maps, can be made in different sizes and colors. But remember, globes like this digital globe shown here on Google Earth are three-dimensional and spherical, meaning they are shaped like a ball. Now that we know what maps and globes are, let's discuss which is a more realistic representation of the world, a map or a globe. A globe is more realistic because a globe is shaped just like the world. Both are spherical, so a globe is more accurate than a flat, two-dimensional map. So how can we find places on a map? What tools can we use? Look at the symbols on this map of the United States. To know what these symbols mean, we need to study the key. So what exactly is a key, and how do they help you find places on a map? A key is usually printed along the edges of a map, and they tell you exactly what the symbols on the map mean. For example, on this map, the national capital is represented by a star, which is shown here as Washington, D.C. What is a compass? How is it used to find direction on a map? A compass is a tool that shows which direction is north, east, south, and west on that specific map. Remember, the four words used to give direction are north, east, south, and west. So why should everyone give directions using these same four words? It is important to use these same four words, north, east, south, and west, because they point in the same direction no matter where you are. For example, it doesn't matter if you're in Canada, in China, in England, or Mexico. North will always point in the same direction. Now how can we find Salt Lake City, the city that we live in? To find Salt Lake City, we need to start on the largest scale possible, or the whole entire world, then zoom in to the continent, country, state, and then finally the city. First we find North America, one of the seven continents. Next, we find the United States, one of the countries located in the North American continent. Next, we zoom in on Utah, which is one of the 50 states located in the United States. And finally, we search for and find Salt Lake City, the capital of Utah and the city that we live in. search, why do you think we used a globe instead of a map to find Salt Lake City? We used a globe because we needed to find Salt Lake City, not know the specific details of the Salt Lake City area like a map would show. To find Salt Lake City or any place on the globe, we need to start from the bigger areas and zoom in. That is, that Salt Lake City is on the North American continent in the United States and is a city within Utah, so we were able to use a globe to locate Salt Lake City. And that's it! Now you know the basics about maps and globes, how to read them, and when to use them.